the unprincipled and destructive use of things. He says that being unable to ever obtain what they seek will be the retribution. To those who do unreasonable damage to implements such as a bowl or a cup by picking up picking it up and smashing it for no reason at all. Actually, not just a cup, but all goods belonging to the temple, including personal goods, cannot be destroyed. If these things are damaged, then in future lives you will not get anything you want. You often experience the suffering of not getting what you wish. As a retribution, you will always like or want what you seek in future lives. To the arrogant and haughty to have whoever a strong view of a self who are so egoistical that they consider themselves bigger than Mao Tzu Naru. Arrogant individuals think highly of themselves and are quite pompous. For them, he says that being servile and a low station will be the retribution. Not aware of how arrogant and pompous you are in this lifetime, you will be servants to others or those of the lowest class or ignoble background in future lives. To those who use backbiting to cause divisions, gossip, contention, and discord among others, he says that being tongueless or having speech impediments or being sparrows will be the retribution. To those who with different views for which they do not observe the rules because they have the wrong kind of understanding, he says that being reborn in the most impoverished and backward regions will be the retribution. Sutra, the bad habits involving body, mouth, and mind karma that beings of Jamudvipa perpetuate results in hundreds of thousands of retributions like those. I have only listed a few examples here. Since the varying karma created by beings of Jamudvipa brings about different responses, a store bodhisattva uses hundreds of thousands of expedient means to teach and transform beings. Those beings must first undergo retributions such as those and then fall into the hells where they pass through eons without being able to escape. You should therefore protect people and nations. Do not allow the, the accumulation of karma to confuse beings. Upon hearing that the four heavenly kings wept in sorrow, placed their palms together and withdrew. Commentary there are both problems of the causes and conditions of retribution. The bad habits involving body, killing, stealing, committing sexual misconduct, and others. Mouth, the four evil karma of frivolous speech, lies, harsh speech, and deceive speech, and mind, the evil karma of greed, hatred, and delusion which create the ten types of evil karma that beings of southern Jambu Vipa perpetuate. Results in hundreds of thousands of retributions like those. Consequently, they will experience different evil retributions in the future. I have only explained in brief rather than in detail and listed a few examples here. Since, uh, as I described earlier, the varying evil karma created by all beings of South and Jambu Vipa brings about different responses. The straw bodhisattva uses hundreds of thousands of expedient means to teach and transform all beings. Those beings of South and Jambu Vipa must first undergo many retributions such as those described and then fall into the hells where they pass through eons without being able to escape. For this reason, you for heavenly kings should therefore protect people and nations. Do not allow the, the accumulation of karma to confuse and entangle beings. Upon hearing the causes and conditions of uh, retributions uh, that Shakyamuni Buddha explained earlier, 
the four heavenly kings wept in sorrow. Why do the four heavenly kings hear this and cry out of sadness? On the other hand, they were sympathetic with the beings who were having to face this kind of suffering. On the other hand, they were ashamed that they did not live up to their responsibilities in protecting living beings. With thoughts such as these, they wept in sorrow, placed the palms together, and withdrew to the side to sit down.